So we've added one parameter here, a string type, something you could have called anything else that would have worked too, right? So now you get this idea. And I hope you were able to add other types of parameters such as ints, chars, floats, doubles, and so forth. It's very easy. It's all the same, right? The same syntax, if you will. That's the beauty of programming. Once you know how to do one way, right? Everything else is pretty much the same. Very good. Now, the other thing too to remember here is that we can pass as many parameters as we want in one particular method. Of course, there's always a number of parameters that is usually seen as the best threshold. So meaning you shouldn't have about 20 parameters in one method that is just overkill. It's considered bad practice, you know, three, four, even five, I think that is still okay. But try to make it as short as possible. So let's look at an example where we can add more parameters here, right? Notice I can also say, for instance, int age, something like that, right? So once we are adding parameters, that doesn't mean that all of them have to be the same type, you can have all different types in one method. Right, so now we have int. Notice we're gonna have a problem here because now it says expecting int. The moment you come here and say age, say 23, notice again it added that age for us here. Okay, this again is a visual thing. Okay, so if you don't see this, do not ever add age colon 23. That's not gonna work. Just put 23, okay? Very good. So there we go. Now, of course, we've passed age and int. We haven't done anything with it. That's why this says parameter age is never used. We can also append it here. You can say age as such and see what's going to happen. Save and run and say, hey, 23. So, of course, we can go ahead and put two parentheses as such. And the parentheses, I mean, double quotes and run. We should see that little space there. Very good. Obviously, we can keep going and adding more and more different types of parameters. Now, you can see here the power that you have is getting bigger by the minute, meaning you can come here and do some logic. You can say if enter if age again is greater than 90, then we want to say s out like that. We can go ahead and say I am still young, All right? Save that. If we, if we pass 90 as we did there, and we run, you see another method, hey, 90. So here the I'm still young is not showing. Why do you think it's not showing? Right, the reason why it's not showing because if you come here, we pass 90, 90 is not greater than 90, right? That makes no sense. Hence, this never runs, okay? The moment if we change this to 91, what do you think is gonna happen? Of course, and voila, another method is there and I'm still young is showing now. Okay, so that is a different way for us showing you that we can pass as many parameters as we wish to pass in a single method as you see here. And of course, the idea here is to always do your own logic, whatever is coming in, you can do some logic there if statements for loops, whatever you want. Because remember, this is indeed its own entity inside of this body here, it's where you can put all of the code that you need to run. Okay, we can create another method here, I'm going to say public static void add numbers like that. And I'm going to make sure that this method here, what it will do as the name imply is going to add numbers. Okay, so I'm going to say int a int b as such. And I can go ahead and say s out sum is space, I'm going to say a plus b like that. Let's save this and see what's going to happen. Well, nothing's going to happen, as you know, because we haven't called this. So I'm going to copy this. Let's go ahead and comment this out here. So to avoid the noise. And of course, we have to pass a few numbers here. So I'm going to say 12 and 12 as such. Let's save, run, sum is 12, 12. Whew. That is not what we we're expecting. What's going on? Let's probe in and see what's really going on here. Well, we say here sum is, and of course, this is a string, as you know by now, and this plus is concatenation. And then what's happening here, we have a, whatever we are passing in our add numbers, and b, whatever also we're passing as integers. These are parameters, right? We specified. But why is it that we're getting 1212? Because 12 plus 12 should be 24. 
Well, the problem here is very simple. We say that the plus, the addition here, in this case, this is concatenation. We are concatenating, we're not adding. But the moment this is looked at as this, because we are adding A plus B, at least that's what we think we're doing, logically speaking, but the computer cannot discern certain things as we can as humans. Remember, computers are just machines, right? They just follow a certain protocol. So the computer uses this or sees this as concatenation as well. It's going to say 12, concatenate, with B, which is another 12. That's why we see 12, 12. Now to solve this problem, we are going to put inside of parentheses, okay, the A plus B. So what's gonna happen now? The computer is gonna say, ah, so what are we doing this plus here? We are actually concatenating whatever result we get from the addition of A and B, right? Because this is an expression on its own right now. Save this, quick run. Just a small, interesting thing that can throw you off. So whenever in doubt, whenever you want to add those two numbers inside of a string, in println in this case, make sure that you put in parentheses whatever you are uh, adding or subtracting or doing any arithmetic operations on. That way it's seen this as one expression, okay? Now, of course, we know about variables now. We could have said here int sum right is equal to a plus b like that and just put the sum here in this case if we put sum here we wouldn't need to put that in parentheses because we already know the sum is a plus b so this is its own expression save that and run we should see sum is 24. all right there we go that works Okay, there we go. So what I want you to do next, as another little challenge here, <laughs> is instead of add numbers, what I want you to do, I'm gonna say here, to do, I want you to create a multiply numbers method, okay, like that, as well as divide numbers, and of course, you'll have to pass parameters here, the numbers that you want to multiply or divide and so forth. So I want you to do this, say to do, and I want you to go ahead and do. So this is your to-do list, create a multiply numbers, just like we did here, and system out, right? And as well as divide numbers. All right, I'll see you next.